welcome to Colors of Paradise on BINL.com. I'm Africa Harrigan. Today we're doing a tour on Water Island. And here to assist me with this tour is island resident Alex Randall. Alex, how are you? Good, Africa. Good to be here. This is the perfect place to start a tour of Water Island. It's Phillips Landing. Phillips Landing is where the Water Island Ferry Dock is located. So it is the main arrival and departure point for visitors and residents. Our first stop is the information booth. This is the main building in downtown Phillips Landing on Water Island. It's our information center. It's also the federal post office. It's our community lending library and the waiting room for the ferry boat. Now across the street are the two phone booths. And as you can tell, downtown doesn't need a subway. That's it for Phillips Landing. We're heading to the old hotel, but we'll make a quick stop for a lovely view of Honeymoon Beach. This is my favorite beach on island. Off we go to our next stop. Across the bay are the ruins of a once popular hotel. Alex will tell us more about it. This place looks deserted, Alex. Where are we? Well, this used to be the Water Island Hotel. From the 1950s until the 1980s, this was the Seacliff Hotel. It had 300 rooms, it was a big place, but it was damaged in Hurricane Hugo in 1989 and it was never rebuilt. And finally, the government demolished it, so there's nothing here. That's why it's deserted. As we walked along the grounds of the old hotel, I couldn't help but wonder what life used to be like here. Today, visitors to Water Island stay in various vacation homes and apartments around the island. We're on the road again, heading to Flamingo Bay Marina. Touring Water Island in a golf cart is fun. This is Flamingo Pond. It used to be a freshwater pond right up until the Navy dredged out a passage and opened it to the sea. Yeah, I heard that, and it's from this pond and other little ponds. That's how Water Island got its name, right? That's right. The pirates would come here and fill up their water cakes. That's why it's Water Island. Our next stop is Fort Sagara. It is located on the south end of the island, and it's a great place to see panoramic views. This is what's left of Fort Sagar. It's a big chunk of concrete that the Army left here. It's an observation point, and guys could get in here with their telescopes and binoculars and survey across the Southern Caribbean to see if there were ships coming in to attack St. Thomas in the sub base. Of course, this was never finished, so like everything on Water Island, there's really not much here. So what else does Water Island have to offer? Take a stroll on beautiful beaches like Sprat Bay or build rock creations on Limestone Beach. Or pay a visit to a popular tourist attraction, Honeymoon Beach. The crystal clear water is calm and inviting. Isn't this heavenly? There is also a salt pond nearby. Since Water Island is small and surrounded by the ocean, you can see lovely views everywhere on the island. This concludes our tour and I hope you had a great time. On the way back, be on the lookout for some pretty pink flowers and a camera shy tortoise. We're back here at Phillips Landing on Water Island. It's been a wonderful trip. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Africa Harrigan here for VINow.com, Colors of Paradise. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> I'm Africa Harrigan for Colors of Paradise for VINow.com.